The 31st of August since Mugen started for the Bucks. Now it's against Gainsborough. He has been missed, although those players looking to uh, get their own place in the team haven't done that bad a job in recent weeks. Telford have had six straight wins, but they're defending here. It's a good one too. Pond at the near post just ships it in towards that far post and kicked behind by Wes Bain. Pressure there from the defender, Will Mott, who, uh, as I say, has uh, played at a number of clubs in the higher leagues. A very well-travelled man. A mistake by Priest in defence, and now Worley gets it from McGinn. Worley shoots and scores! Good finish by Sean Worley! Oh, that's a super shot! Because Bowman, with his outstretched hand, tried to get a finger onto it. But Worley, with perfect precision with that, strikes it into a bottom corner. But a mistake from the former Telford man, Mark Priest, allows Worley in. And an important first goal. Telford lead by one goal to nil. It really well. He stroked it, didn't he? Yeah. Straight into that bottom corner. Credit Oxford. McGinn, though, I thought. Credit yeah, McGinn. it was good a pass. good spot. Yeah. yeah. Oxford City have a corner here, looking for an equaliser straight away. Twelve and a half minutes gone. Far post it comes and Ryan Young catches it well. It was very congested in that six-yard box. And Young, as always, is uh, up to the job in hand. Inside 15 minutes, it's into the near post. Byrne heads it to the far post. Grogan beaten to it. And uh, Solomon Otterbar doesn't get there well. Worley then looks to pick out the run of Grogan as he whips it back into that box. But Telford will certainly be the happier uh, because you get the feeling that there are goals in this for them. If they carry on playing the way they are, uh, they're causing Oxford all sorts of problems. Worley turns again and beats for the def uh, defender there. Now he plays it out to the right hand side to Farrell. Across the goal! Yeah, it's got in! Telford get a second! Owens! Good surging run on that far post! And he does the Camel celebration! He was started once more by Sean Worley. Farrell though with a super cross on that right wing and he picked out Andy Owens on that far post who popped up in space and an important second goal Telford now two up here's Worley Telford hoping to get a third and Worley plays it in behind the defenders Owens takes it out wide on his left gets his cross in headed away by the defender chested down by McEachran and now to Pond on this right wing just floating it forward to Basham who holds it up well but then tackled by Grogan and then Grogan plays it through to Owens Owens spots Worley in room Worley tackled and that's a really good recovery there by Mulling the ball appeals there of a foul on Owens not given McGinn now though latches onto a long ball good ball to the far post nearly stabbed in by Worley kept in play though by Farrell on that right wing looking to pick out Worley again Worley shoots and it's over this time up against at West Brom uh, Shane Long against his former club now McGinn wins his tackle it's an important tackle as well out to his left wing Worley shoots goal magical goal and a screamer from Sean Worley it was all started by Matty McGinn again who's now set up two goals in this game Worley allowed the defender to make his first move he sidestepped him and then nonchalantly he just whipped it into a bottom corner Telford 3-0 up Wow it's breathtaking because the goalkeeper dived for it just couldn't get there right in the bottom corner nonchalant was the word you used and a great word to, to sum it up yeah, this has been massively impressive from Telford in this first half and now another chance Worley Wally pass for defender looking for a, a penalty it's going to be a penalty is it yes it is the referee and linesman weren't quite sure but Worley makes a penalty they could go 4-0 up here and we are still inside the first half well Worley danced past the defender and he just left him for dead and he just brought him down now the discussion will be will it be a red card did he have cover and it's Pond it's Darren Pond who's had to drop back into defence because Henderson went off injured and it's a yellow card to the goalkeeper Bullman Pond was brought over by the looks of it because he's captain, so he's uh, had a word. But it is Bullman who made that contact. 
A Telford have a chance here with Adam Farrell. The referee telling him to place the ball on the spot. Well, this is a big opportunity here for Telford. Farrell could make it four. Five minutes before half time and scores! Tucks it away! It's a fine goal from Farrell. But Worley once more deserves the plaudits. His pace, his tenacity is really well driving Telford on in this game. Well, smiles all around here, just outstanding. Uh, what a performance. They played some scintillating football today, and here they come again. And Farrell wins another corner here. Well, could it be five? Well, goal difference. We've said for a few weeks, haven't we? Goal difference could be key at the end of the season. It's very tight. Ferriby had that big 4 1 away when it gains Bridden didn't they, a couple of weeks ago that gave them the edge in terms of goal difference and goal score. But Telford have got a wonderful opportunity here now, haven't they, to, to go on and, and hopefully score a few more goals and make a dent in that. Begin then, left footed corner here. And headed downwards by Neil Byrne, and it misses that far post. At Geisley, not sure which way it's gone. Uh, but Ferriby have had a goal disallowed, so Geisley 1 0 up. If it stays the same, come 5 o'clock today, Telford will be two points clear at the top of the Conference North, with both teams playing the same amount of games. And we've had uh, just that one minute of added on time, and it is uh, half time here at the Bucks Head. Four of the best in this first 45 minutes. Smiles on the Telford fans' faces. We'll be back here very shortly. But it's Oxford to get us underway. Telford kicking from our left to right in this second half. Telford all in white, Oxford in their white and blue hoop shirts, blue shorts and blue socks. And uh, with Telford 4-0 up, let's hope for more goals in this second half. It plays it back to uh, Pond, who's had to drop back into the right-back position. And Wally's got the beat in the priest again. Wally against the keeper, and the keeper does well. Brave keeping, especially being on a yellow card. Yeah, difficult one for Telford, really, in some respects, isn't it, this second half? Because, keep well, a break off. Hanging cross in, punched away by Bullman. Baines looks to chip him as he was still on the ground. And it's away here by... Oxford managed by Mike Ford standing watching on a nice play by Wally again to Owens good one too Wally gets on to the end of it and then a heavy touch on that cross from left to right and it will be a throw in the uh, leftovers picked up by Grogan slips it square to Baines Baines's cross takes a wicked dicker, um, deflection and now here's Owens shooting and it's wide just into a quieter period in this game, which is no surprise with uh, the first half we had. 54 minutes gone, cross in by McGinn, good cross and caught by the keeper. Uh, pretty much everybody behind the ball, to Simons staying up on the halfway line. Here's Farrell, slotting it through, injecting it in there with real pace there, Farrell. Farrell then whips it in, and a flick there from I think it was Owens on the far post who held his head. Liam Watson already on his feet. And there we go. Top of the one. Big win. And now we turn our attentions to Geisley to find out how the league leaders, North Therapy, are getting on. They were 1-0 down.